What a great week it's been. What about in the picks department? Dari Noka taking on the staff. The staff was 13-2. and two. Dari was 10-5 and five last week. So the staff closing the gap just down a pick. All right, our Iowa nice guy. The, uh, the <laughs> Iowa filmmakers. This Here they awesome. are with reaction to uh, Dari with their picks. The Hawkeyes traveled to Evanston to take on the smartest virgins in the conference. It seemed like over the last couple of years, Northwestern has had Iowa's number. But we all know the Wildcats don't even know how to ask for someone's number. I got the Hawkeyes by a field goal. The Baylor Yawn Bears come to Ames. Though the Cyclones have had some spotty QB play, the Baylor defense has had more holes in it than the State Department's explanation of the Libyan embassy attack. Whether it's Jance, Barnett, or Hillary Clinton running the offense, the Cyclones will put up big points on the way to victory. Michigan has to make the trek to Lincoln, Nebraska to take on the Bug Eaters. If you're wondering why I call them the Bug Eaters, it's because of these two facts. One, Nebraskans are known for their insect consumption. Two, before 1900, the official name of the team was the Bug Eaters. Sometimes you can't make this stuff up. And Nebraska won't be able to make up the talent difference on the field on Saturday as the Hugh Jackmans slice Big Red in three. I think it's time for Notre Dame to check in with reality, and there's no better team to help them do that than the upended toilet. I usually have reservations about picking the Sooners, but since this game doesn't involve the letters BCS or the word bull, I got them pulling away late to defeat the Irish. Florida and Georgia meet up this week at Everbank Field in Jacksonville. Jaguar fans and local residents might be confused by what they see. NFL caliber football. Georgia? will put up a good fight against battle-weary Florida. But that dog won't hunt, especially if there's a gator biting it in half. Number 11 Mississippi State takes on Alabama on Saturday. Is this the week the mighty tide are tested? No. Alabama's athletes don't get tested in the classroom, and they won't be tested on the field, as Alabama picks up its eighth win going away. Texas A&M heads to Auburn to hand the Tigers their seventh loss of the season. When I see Auburn play under coach Gene Chizik, I'm reminded of one thing, Dari Noka and a touch screen. A bit of a mess. That said, uh-oh. You're going to go West Virginia. Yeah, good. Me too. I like Nebra. You know what? We got to work on this touch screen. I promise you when it works, this technology is awesome. No, get out of here. I don't want you. That's actually a Tar Heel, just so you know. I agree. Come on, touch screen. This right. segment will not be on YouTube later. This We're not going to send this. Be on YouTube. Until next week on College Football Daily, I'm out.